Give him a cow down. Uh oh, look at her. Uh oh, look at her. <laughs>
we go, foot race. Right, at this time we're going to bring Mayor Collins up uh, along with Dave Lynn and they are going to present the awards for the runners. So Dave, here you go. First off, all you runners, walkers, everybody that came out to support the Braveheart 5K, thank you so much. Also thank you to the Taste of Scotland people. Appreciate you allowing me to do this year. Next year, hopefully you'll be back and I promise you more hills, don't worry. <laughs> Um, I appreciate it, like I said, everybody coming out. I want to give off first award, uh, now I'm going to have Mr. Collins take over after that, but we all, every race I ever, ever do, we have one special award for a person. Right now, this present time, if I could have number 45 come up, your number 45, come on up here if you don't mind. <laughs> 45 classifies our little caboose. And every, every, year, every race we give away the Caboose Award, which says, woo woo, I crossed the finish line at the Braveheart 5K. Plus you get dinner for two at Todd Paradise. And we also come by to Snapboard, the town of Franklin has something special for you also. Thank you for coming out. Don't you all think that this 5K run adds a whole lot to the taste of Scotland. Over a hundred runners on the first year. We need to make this a part of it every year. Hi, you mean the people who came in last? They get, oh. oh. 70 and plus. 70 and plus? Yes, sir. All right, what we got? We got here, we got first place. Take that for me. And that's Nancy Scott. Nancy Scott. First place. I will not repeat the age group, Nancy. Give a hand to Nancy. She's a former town board member. Okay, in the men's division, second place, uh, Dr. Parker Davis. Is he worn out and can't make it up here? All right, we'll get it to him. First place, Jim Cave. Hills. <laughs> Give my hand. In the sixties. Third place in the sixties age group from Highlands, North Carolina, Glenda Bell. Thank you so much. We'll see you at the par 5K. All right. 
Second, second place, Raven Gap, Georgia, Carrie Albright. Hi, Carrie. And now, first place in this age group from Gainesville, Florida, Jane Hester. A time of 28 minutes and 8 seconds, a 9.04 pace. Now for the men of the 60 to 69 group. Third place from Malden, South Carolina, Tom Ashley. And second place from Silva, North Carolina, Gary Jones. And number one from Canton, North Carolina, with a time of 24 minutes and 48 seconds, Dan Perry. Okay, the group 50 to 59, women's, third place from Franklin, Grace, Gracie Wadowitz. <laughs> yeah, Marty, she had to go home. Second place, Asheville, Sherry Roan. First place from Hayesville with a time of 25 minutes and 21 seconds, Joanna Atkinson. All right. Appreciate you coming out. Hope you have fun. I hope you Thank you. Now for the males, uh, 50 to 59. Third place must run in the family, Marty Wadowitz from Franklin. <laughs> Second place from Franklin, Jim Bird. <laughs> and first place from Highlands with a time of 23 minutes and 22 seconds, Burt Mobley. Forty to forty-nine, female. Third place from Franklin, Donna McDaniel. Second place from Atlanta, Georgia, Lisa Whitlank. First place in this age group with a time of 22 minutes and 49 seconds, Rita Esther Wood. In the men, no, where are we at now? The, in the men, age 40 to 49. Third place from Franklin, Wayne McDaniel. Second place from Highland, Sam Edgens.
in first place with a time of 19 minutes and 32 seconds from Highlands, Brad Knops. Women's 30 to 39. Third place for Franklin, Jamie Fletcher. Jamie! Pick up the pace now. Come on. Second place from Charlotte, Nicole Creech. Miss Half Pines. And first place with a time of 23 minutes and 20, 40 seconds from Franklin, Sarah Baxter. <laughs> now for the men, age 30 to 39. Third place from Waynesville, Dan Krause. Second place for Franklin, Matt Bowman. And first place, it looks by a wide margin at 18 minutes and 8 seconds from Franklin, Jeff Howard. Now for the women, ages 20 to 29, from third place from Franklin, Diana Sanchez. Second place from Franklin, uh, Tiffany Allen. And first place with a time of 22 minutes and 25 seconds from Franklin, Rachel Wilson. Rachel! Now for the men, ages 20 to 29. Third place from Franklin, Josh Tomlinson. Second place from Highlands, Thomas Keenan. We'll get his too. I'll take it. First place with a time of 20 minutes and 40 seconds from Franklin, Jake Watkins. In costume. Now for the women, or girls, ages 15 to 19. Third place from Atlanta, Georgia, Aaron Whitlank. Second place from Franklin, Hannah Hilton. And first place with a time of 23 minutes and 35 seconds from North Carolina, it says, Adriana Wimpy. <laughs> now for the males at age 15 to 19. Third place from Franklin, Martin Linsky.
Second place from Whittier, Bradley Green. And first place with a time of 19 minutes and four seconds from Franklin Parker Bird. The girls from birth to 14. Third place from Atlanta, Alex Fastnall. Second place, place from Atlanta, Avery Fastnall. And first place from Franklin with a time of 27 minutes and 18 seconds, Zoe Stanley. Now for the boys in that age group. Third place from Asheville, Walter Miller. Second place from Bryson City, Jordan Cody. And first place with a time of 23 minutes and 29 seconds from Wake Forest, North Carolina, Evan Perone. Okay, now for the big awards, the top female, I guess that's the best time, with a time of 22 minutes and 16 seconds from Franklin, North Carolina, Miss Kayla Morgan. A night stay at the Old Edwards Inn. Books by Jeff Galloway and also recovery books. Books by Jeff Galloway and recovery books. And then also a free pair of shoes at Mon the Montre is offered by Outdoor 76. Free pair of shoes offered through Outdoor 76 and going to get married next Saturday? Congratulations. All right. And now the top male with a time of 18 minutes and 2 seconds. That's picking them up and putting them down, folks. The local boy from Franklin, Mr. Canyon Woodward. Woo! Similar prizes. We appreciate the sponsors for the prizes. Real quick, um, let's go ahead. Yes, this is the next thing we're gonna do. Actually, Matt, come on up here. I'll let you do this, Matt. This award is for the best dressed brave part. I'm a little nervous to see what this is. The, the winner is getting a, uh, a wee guide to William Wallace, the original Braveheart, from the Scottish Tartans Museum, a nice little Scottish flag, and uh, a nice little plaque that looks like it's got David's picture on it, though. So, uh, 2011 Braveheart 5K, best dressed individual. Also, I was going to let you know, too, also let you know there's a little secret prize inside the book. You have to look closely inside the book for your secret prize. Now, the winner is Bill Swift. Dale Swift, Bill, Bill Swift, best dressed Braveheart, and here he comes. Thank you, Bill. Congratulations. Thank 
because I have something for you. Uh, Dave's done such a wonderful job doing this 5K uh, event, and I want everyone to know that all of the funding raised from this Braveheart 5K has been uh, a donation for the Scottish Tartans Museum, and we are so very appreciative of all the work that you've done, Dave. Uh, I don't feel like we've been thanking you enough for that. Uh, thank you on behalf of the museum, on behalf of our board of directors, and we'd like to present you, we have enrolled you with an honorary membership in our museum. This little card will get you a discount on items in our gift shop. It gets you subscribed to our newsletter list, and it's our way of saying thank you for such a great job organizing this, uh, this race for us. Thank you. Thank you, David.